Hey folks, today we've got a quick tips video about a new public beta or the public alpha update for the Garmin Fenix 6 that adds in some features from the just released Garmin 955 as well as the Fenix 7. This is part of Garmin's public beta program that you can join, but more on that in just a second. So the big news here is that Garmin's going to roll out the HRB status as well as the training status 2.0 features into the Fenix 6. Now in particular, this is two major things. The first is HRB status that you see right there. This is on the Fenix 6 that I just updated and the bottom is a new acute load. Now to kind of explain what HRV status is, essentially HRV is heart rate variability. In the case of Garmin, they measure that while you're sleeping. So every time you go to sleep, it'll measure HRV throughout the night, the entire night long, and it'll record those data points. You can see this here on my 955. If I tap this open, HRV status, you can see these values here in the HRV widget looking at my 400 955. Now these are the nightly values. But what happens is Garmin takes those values over the course of a three week period, kind of a calibration period and ultimately gives you these sort of values like this where it says balanced, unbalanced, etc. So I can crack into that and I can see these are my zones that are specific to me based on my HRV values over that calibration period. So in the case of the Phoenix 6 right here, if I go back down to that menu under training status, uh, this particular HRV status is no status because it's just only been one night. You need 19 days of activity to start with to establish that baseline. And that baseline grows to over 90 days of activity, basically a rolling 90 day period, looking at your HRV values. Now with this first alpha build, first public alpha build of the Phoenix 6, uh, this particular HRV widget is not there yet, but Garmin says that it's coming in the next build. So just stay tuned for a second. But the good news though is you can start collecting collecting that data behind the scenes because you do have to build up that 19 days worth of data. Now during this time frame, you can go into Garmin Connect and see your data on a screenshot like right there, uh, showing the nightly data. You just won't see it on the watch yet. But again, just take that time to do that now. That way when the widget does show up, you've already got the data for it. Now previously, Garmin hadn't said anything about rolling this out to the Phoenix 6 at all. It wasn't even like on the cards. Uh, it was coming to the Phoenix 7 and the Epic series and the Instinct 2 series. Uh, I was also rolling out in the 400 255 and it's coming to the 400 945 LTE. So the fact that they're adding this to the Phoenix 7 is a pretty nice surprise. Speaking of a nice surprise, if you're finding this video interesting or useful, just simply whack that like button at the bottom. It really does help with this video and the channel quite a bit. Now this update is more than just HRV status. It's what Garmin calls training status 2.0. And it's this page right here or a portion of it anyways. Uh, it's the one that shows unproductive, which is kind of the running joke. In this case, it makes sense. I pulled this watch out of the bin and my training load has been pretty low this week. So I've got some big stuff coming up next week. So it's a bit confused about being just out of the bin and what's going on in life. Nonetheless, uh, you'll see the HRV status there and acute load is there. If go down though once, you'll see acute load is right there. Now acute load differs than the seven day load in the past. So you got this green tunnel that's showing you the optimal load. I am below the optimal load, solidly below the optimal load in fact, because again, planning for next week a little bit and just life being a bit busy. Uh, but the change here compared to seven day load is that with your seven day load, if you did a big ride last weekend, uh, but say it's now Friday, that load from six days ago is far less impactful than a big ride last night. What acute load does differently than a seven day load is that load basically burns off over the course of those seven days versus just immediately dropping off at the end of seven days. In the past with a seven day load, so in the past that load would evaporate instantly overnight, which led to kind of the big swings between unproductive and productive and maintaining versus now it bleeds off over the course of the entire week. So that is a nice change to see here. If you go back into this page, you'll see these names be kind of tweaked as well and some of the icons and whatnot, uh, but most of this is relatively similar than in the past. Uh, that is different, however, than training readiness, which is something on the 955, also working on coming to the Phoenix 7 Epic series. And that has the multiple components there, uh, training readiness, basically taking all these things and kind of collecting them together under one umbrella. Uh, does not sound like that is coming to the Phoenix 6 at this point in time, but maybe we'll be surprised there as well. Who knows? Anyways, if you want to go ahead and download this yourself, keep in mind one, it is beta software, technically actually alpha software at this point. So stability is questionable. I wouldn't do this before your big race or something like that. Uh, to do that, you jump into the Garmin forums, a link here on the screen or something like that on the upper corner there. And you can just walk through the steps to get your particular device enrolled. Uh, because it's an alpha build and not a beta build, that means you will need a computer and a cable to download the update onto your watch uh, versus the beta builds just come wirelessly via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and stuff like that. As far as when this will be available on your watch in production, my guess is two to five weeks. So if you just want to kind of wait till then, you're obviously welcome to do that. You don't do anything at all. You just simply wait and eventually it will show up on your watch sometime down the road. With that, thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or useful, whack that like button at the bottom there or hurt subscribe, hurt subscribe, hit subscribe. You can hurt it too uh, for plenty more sports technology goodness. Have a good one.